Welcome to the vlog. Good morning. I wanted to talk a little bit about my ODAX preparation. But first, we've got a bike ride for Lenny. Today we're doing a ride for Lenny. Uh, I saw a poster online. My uncle shared it and his Facebook profile was uh, private. So I copied the photo and then I shared it. And then since it's public, a whole bunch of people shared it also. And the meetup place was supposed to be here. But the manager contacted me and asked us if we could move the meetup place. She said it was going to hamper um, operations. Uh, I wasn't the one organizing, so I forwarded it to my uncle and he forwarded it to somebody. And now we moved the uh, new meetup to this spot we'll see what happens i'm just here to support wear some pink wear my colors and uh but should be a good long ride though let's get it started huh police escort i think i what show of support. Now it's time for breakfast. <laughs> Justin's excited for breakfast. Heading back. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my ODAX preparation and honestly it's not as different I mean like it's not very different from what my usual riding is just a lot of zone 2 riding uh, trying to get in some long rides although for April I was not able to get in that as many long rides as I would have wanted but you know, still enough. I think the biggest preparation for me for the Audax would be a change in mindset. You know, like I'm used to trying to like do my best, go as fast as I can and I do not want to overcook myself in a distance like that. First Audax is 300 kilometers and that's a distance that I need to respect. So I think one of the things that I'll do is make sure to start uh, slower than I want to. I'm thinking 140 beats per minute in terms of heart rate. You know, make sure I get a lot of food. Change in mindset, so like stuff like not pedaling on the downhills. Uh, when it gets really hot, just try looking for shade as much as possible. Things that will um, help me save energy and hopefully I can finish strong in the towards the end of the 300 kilometers because i think one of the things is like one of the ways that you can go fast is just to take minimal breaks although i think i'm going to be listening to my body because if my body wants to take a break then i should just stop 
So one of the things that I'm gonna do is look at the route, take note of all the good spots, all the good stops ahead of time, and maybe familiarize myself with them in the map so that if I know that there's a stop coming up, I know that it would be a good place to rest. You know, gas stations, restaurants, cafes, stuff like that. I also made a list of things to bring. It's in the computer, so let's go to the let's go to the computer. Right, I'm home. So planning for a 300 kilometer ride. More or less, I am budgeting. It's going to be at least 12 hours. So I'm budgeting 12 hours for that ride. You know what? I'm gonna use this bike light for better lighting. It doesn't turn on. Why doesn't this turn on? How about this bike light? There you go. So I'm gonna do the list really quickly. Two water bottles, two inner tubes, one bike loop, super glue, scam sack, handlebar, tools, bike computer, power bank, cable for bike computer, helmet, inner shirt, bright jersey, bib shorts, bike socks, bike, bike shoes, Small change, like one peso coins. Wallet, Vax card, cash, ID, the balaclava, because it gets really hot sometimes. The big one, so you can cover your whole face. And of course, for filming, I'm gonna bring a GoPro. Make sure to bring GoPro batteries, the GoPro charger, GoPro wire, watch, watch wire, uh, phone, phone charger, uh, phone wire, DJI camera, the exact one that I'm using right now. Uh, the camera stand is here somewhere. Uh, bike lights, because it might get dark when I'm doing it. And then for nutrition, as I said, at least a 12 hour bike ride. So it's a bit, it's a bit noisy. Not too loud. So at least 12 hour bike ride, which means I'm gonna bring at least 24 bars, one bar every 30 minutes. I might switch it up a little bit because Eating the same thing for 12 hours is gonna suck. And of course, I'm gonna bring a badass mix. Electrolytes, gotta make sure I drink an uh, electrolyte drink before the actual Audax. And some Bix Recovery. So Bix Electrolyte and Bix Recovery. All right, that's it. I'm gonna put a list somewhere in the YouTube description. If you happen to be from Dumaguete, can you help me out? Um, here is the route for the Dumaguete Audax. Is there anything interesting, uh, a fun place to hang out, like cafes, restaurants? Is there a place that I can swim? That would be cool. Um, help me out. Can you just maybe tell me about it in the comments? That would be very helpful. Okay, today's ride was... Let me check. 83.63 kilometers. 3 hours, 42 minutes, and 48 seconds moving time with... 286 meters of elevation gain. Again, if you know Dumaguete a little bit, please help me out in the comments. All right, no boring days, please subscribe.